Hey folks, Doc C here. I just wanted to kind of add to what I had said the last time. I found that um, I started thinking about how young folks um, are under stress. And one of the things that older folks um, add to the mix is their experience. And we talked about experience and the idea that you're getting experience. And not a lot of people don't realize how important experience can be. Um, there's an old story about the Second World War. And there were um, times where U-boats would sink a ship. But a lot of the people that were um, left after were on these um, rafts, like either they're a rubber raft or a boat or life life raft. But a lot of them were hanging on to these. And sometimes, in some cases, they were just having to hang on and, and try to tread water and they're trying to survive. And uh, sometimes sharks would come in. And uh, what they found was, after the Navy went out and picked up a lot of these people, is they found that a lot of the young people, like they were finding all kinds of older older guys, they were surviving. And they found that there was this disproportionate amount, amount of older folks, older guys in the Navy, that they were picking up. And they thought, what in the world's going on here? Why would the young, healthy, strong men be the ones that there were were dying? And what they ended up finding was is that they were giving up. The young people were giving up because they were they'd never been through things to tell them you can make it through this. And they hadn't been through enough in their lives, and and it scared them. It made them feel like, oh, you know, you're sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Are they ever going to find us? And uh, that ate them up and it made them fear and it made, you know, them become weak and they gave up. And uh, I kind of look at that and I think um, that's a lot like life. You know, some people, if they have enough, haven't had enough experiences, um, now, the experiences that those men, those older men had been through, you have to remember, it was hard times because the Second World War was in the 40s. What was right before that was the dirty 30s. So a lot of these men had been through nasty things. They'd been through tough times, really tough times, scraping the bottle of the bottom of the barrel times. Um, so when people are been through tough times and they've learned to survive and they've learned you know what? I will survive. I'll get through this. You know, this too will pass. And that ability to be able to say this too will pass and I will be able to, you know, we'll move on and we'll, we'll do better. To have the faith in the, the future is very, very powerful. People have no idea. I mean, if you look in, in the economy um, and you talk to experts, they'll tell you that when people have positive feeling about the future, they go out and spend. If they're scared about the future, they don't spend, and the economy just slows right down. And uh, so the ability to feel positive about the future is very, very uh, important. And I just want to let you know, um, sometimes the things that we go through, again, um, can, can be to our betterment. Sometimes when we're going through them, it feels like garbage. It feels like, why do I have to put up with this? Why me? But in the end, it always works out better, usually, um, to make you a better person. Now, um, I told a little story about the bricks on this building. And sometimes, um, the, when in the old days, when people used to make um, bricks, and they were wondering about the quality of the clay. And if the quality of that clay, if they if it had moss and other things you know, in the clay, what the old guys would do is instead of going to 800 degrees like a normal brick, they go to 1300 degrees and it would turn it into ceramic. And it would push, that heat would push the impurities out of the brick and you'd see them on the outside of the brick. And this building that I'm in right now, that's exactly what they did. They pushed the temperature up. So they turned all this brick into ceramic and it's really hard to drill. And uh, I just wanna let you know that, you know, sometimes we have to go through that. Um, to be able to get to the other side and to be able to, um, you know, be successful in, you know, many different ways. I just wanted to be able to also say a little shout out. Um, it's my 43rd wedding anniversary. So I just want to say happy anniversary to my um, beautiful bride. And uh, 
Remember, always remember, Santa says, and if you like what we say, tell others. If you don't, tell me. Try to subscribe as well. Take care.